I am off to photograph a concert tonight. I am photographing the Ryan McMillan and Larkin Poe concert tonight. I'm actually shooting for Ryan McMillan, which comes with the added benefit of being able to shoot Larkin Poe also. So I'm gonna take you all along with me. Um, first, we have to get to the venue. I'm running a little bit late. So I, uh, I ended up renting a scooter, one of those little electric share scooters, so I can get through the city real quick. Hey, I am, I'm right down the block. You can't park those scooters right near the venue. I am seven minutes from when doors open. Uh, I, I like to get here a little bit earlier than this, and I highly, highly recommend that if you're shooting a venue, especially if you're shooting a new venue that you've never been to before, that you get here significantly earlier because you wanna get in the front of the line. This venue very rarely ever has a photo pit, thus, if you want to be right up against the rail to get some shots there, you really need to be here early. I'm not too worried about that because I'm going to kind of snake through the crowd as I shoot, but uh, just keep that in mind. New venue, no photo pit, get there early so that you can get in and get the lay for the land. Um, it looks like it's going to be a crowded show, so uh, let's go get in line. That was, that was seamless and painless. Uh, this venue tends to be really, really good and really, really organized with their photo passes. Uh, tonight the photo pass was right there at the door for me and all the staff here is always extremely, extremely helpful. So I'm in the venue now. I, I did a little walk around a lap of the floor. The floor is starting to pack up a little bit, but I think I'll still be able to get up to the front of the stage to get the shots that I need. Um, then I'll retreat back, uh, reorganize and get ready for the main act. But right now it's about 10 minutes after 7 and the first act goes on at 7.30. So I've got a little bit of time to kick back, relax, get a shot list in my head and everything like that so that I'm ready to go when the lights go out and the, the band gets on stage. So uh, let's start going through gear. First pro tip, never post any photos of your photo pass or of your AAA credentials or anything like that. Those things can be duplicated and faked and then all of a sudden other people out in, in public have access to the venue and it creates just a big security risk. So never share any photos of any of the passes that, that you're given. So uh, just keep that in mind. You don't want to piss off a tour manager by posting a, a photo of of your AAA access card go ahead ask me ask me how I know that okay so my bag of choice today is an old school chrome Nico sling it's a it's a small bag it's much much smaller than the bag that I normally tour with and normally take to shows with and the reason being is that this venue is so small and so tight that I need to be able to move through the crowd easily and having a big bag on my back kind of makes it a little harder. This bag fits the essentials and what I have to have for a, a two band, six song set shoot. So uh, let's dive into it. So here in the main compartment, let's see, where am I at here? Here in the main compartment, I have the Sony A7 with the 2472.8 on it. I have a variety of straps on it. I've been using this Peak Design strap for, I don't know, probably about five, six years now. I do use the hand strap because it just kind of makes it a little bit easier to, to get in there and have a secure feel on it. Um, Back in my bag, I usually have the, the, the lens cap on, but that's gonna come off now just because it's gonna get in the way and I'm gonna miss some shots. Next to that, I have the version one 
uh, 70 to 200, 2.8 Sony. Uh, is this a G Master? G Master lens. Um, again, it's got the lens cover on it. I keep this on it for a lot of this time because I don't use the hood on this. I think the hood just makes the lens even bigger and harder to get through the crowds with. Now, I'll start the show shooting with this lens. Then in song two, I'll switch to this lens. And then if there's time, I'll go back or I'll switch to my other lens, which is up top. In this pocket here, just two extra batteries, nothing special there. So we close this up, come around here to this pocket. And in here, I keep uh, the, the wide angle lens. This is a 14 to 24 Sigma 2.8 beautiful beautiful lens but it's a beast it's heavy um, pair of reading glasses I keep a battery pack a little wallet here that has business cards in it and it has two euro coins in it see most of these venues here have lockers and it's two euros you could dump your jacket in and stuff like that um, and that's it that's that's all that is in this bag this is a really quick down and dirty grab-and-go bag um, I do keep on the side of it here, I keep a lanyard with some press credentials on it just in case I need to or want to stick the photo pass for the night on this and wear it around my neck. But recently I've just been wearing it on my chest. It's just easier. It causes less questions. So that's the gear. Now I need to get it all out, get it ready, take some last minute test shots and make sure that I'm all set to shoot. I'm going to then work my way back upstairs and find my shoot location. So uh, let's go get at it. Ooh, so, okay, I just finished shooting the first act. He just left the stage. I went ahead and shot his whole set. He was who I was here to photograph. So I wanted to make sure that I was leaving here with photos that he and his management could use. That's my number, number one priority. So I, I, I shot the whole set. I shot it from the floor, the first level, and the, the upper balcony level. I shot tight, wide, in the crowd, and uh, also some telephoto where I really got in tight on him and stuff like that to try to really pull out some of the expressions. So now I just stepped outside to kind of get a little bit of a breather. It is getting really, really crowded in there. Um, shooting the next set is going to be interesting because the floor is getting so, so crowded and so, so packed. I really need to fine tune my camera kit for these type of shows where there's no photo pit or anything and I've really got to work through. Not to mention I am probably almost a foot shorter than a lot of the people here. So that adds a little bit uh, more complexity to it. But all in all, I think the first set went really well. It was a really darkly lit show and there was smoke involved. So that's gonna, that's gonna play some, some havoc with some editing, but I'll be able to pull some bangers out of it nonetheless. So now, reset, regroup. I might try to download some photos from the camera to the phone if I've got time. That way I can get a photo up on Instagram before the show even ends. Um, that gets a lot of traction. It helps the venue, it helps the band. It, it's, it's just a great thing to do if you could pull it off, but don't try to pull it off at the expense of photographing a show. So uh, yeah. I'm gonna head back inside, maybe grab a beer. The next set is all bonus for me. I was here to shoot the first band. I just happened to get to shoot the second band. So uh, let's go uh, Let's go see if I can pull some bangers from this next one. Uh, the show is clearly still going on. I think I have gotten all the shots that I need to have, that I can go home feeling comfortable, that I got some bangers. So I'm all the way, all the way upstairs. I came up here to just shoot some super wide angle lens stuff before packing it up. Now I've switched back to the 2470. So I'm going to kind of wander around and see if there's any other shots that I can get. But if by this point, I am done. Everything that I have shot is what's going to get used. Anything from here on is just bonus. Side note, they are fucking killing it. They are amazing, amazing, amazing live. You need to come and see them. Um, I'm going to put the GoPro down so I can get back and start making some stills. That is, that's a wrap. That's a wrap for the night. I actually 
put the camera away. Um, I could have shot the whole set, but um, I think with about 45 minutes left in the set, I put the camera away and I just kind of sat down and enjoyed it. So now what happens? Now I head home. Fortunately, this venue is close to my house. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm just gonna walk or if I'm gonna take a scooter. But I will probably stop at one of my favorite bars on the way home because after I leave a show, especially a show like that with so much energy, I'm just wound so tight. I have so much energy and I, I take so much from the room that going home and sitting on the couch and starting to edit right away, which is what I should do, just, just isn't gonna happen. So I think I'm gonna walk home, stop by one of my favorite bars, grab a beer, just bring the heart rate down, then head home, start dumping cards, start editing. I really wanna to try to turn these photos into the managers by tomorrow morning. So thanks for watching. If you like this type of video, please let me know in the comments below. I'll do more of them. Thanks.